Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm DeAndre Tiny. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Friday, November 22nd, 2019. Now let's go to Danielle to see you have today in history. Thank you, DeAndre. Today in history, on November 22nd, 1847, in New York, the Astor Place Opera House, the city's first operatic theater, is open. Now let's go to Jaden to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Danielle. Today for lunch, we have teriyaki chicken patty, cheeseburger, romaine salad, carrot sticks, Orange juice and your choice of milk. Bon appetit. Now back to DeAndre. Thank you, Jaden. That sounds delicious. In school news, our Yankee candle sales are ongoing, so sell those candles. Also, on November 25th to 26th, we have a science camp. The theme is dressed like a mad scientist. The dress code is a lab coat, goggles, button-up shirt, scientist here, and suspenders. There's also a grand prize for the best dressed scientist. All participating scholars do not have to pay for a dress down ticket. Additionally, the theme for the November writing contest is Who is your superhero? And now for a special presentation today Who are we, RPTV? RPTV, who are we? As RPTV, we represent our school. As Patriots, we strive for greatness. No matter how hard a task is, we'll never ever give up. These are all things that RPTV stands for. That was great! Now let's go to weather with Ernst. Thank you, DeAndre. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Now let's go back to DeAndre. Thank you, Ernst. Now let's go to Let's Talk with Matthew. Thank you, DeAndre. Welcome to Let's Talk. Today we have our writing contest winners, Alani, Janai, and Tiara. Welcome, girls. Thank you. So, how did you feel when you won the writing contest? Shocked. Shocked. I was surprised. And what was your story about? Um, three girls um, sleeping over, and they saw a shadow, and then at the end, two of them died. Mine was about a cemetery in the backyard of a cabin. Mine was about a brother that was mean to his sister, so she got revenge on him. And what inspired you to write the story? My cousin. Watching scary stories. I just thought of it. So, what's your favorite part of the day? Lunch. <laughs> Lunch. Lunch. And if you could be famous for anything, what would it be for? John. Playing sports. Singing. And if you could pack anything for lunch, what would it be? Chips. A steak sandwich. Sprite. And now we move on to our lightning round. So, what's your favorite number? Two. Six. Three. Toy Story or Aladdin? Aladdin. Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. Favorite sport? Basketball. Basketball. Pizza Chitty. or pasta? Pizza. Pizza. Pasta. A hamster or a fish? A hamster. A hamster. A hamster. And that concludes our lightning round. Thank you girls so much for being on with us. And be sure to congratulate them when you see them in the hallway. And let's go back to DeAndre. 
Thank you, Matthew. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Parlator, Ms. Escoto, Ms. Dry, Ms. Richardson, Ms. Moraz, Ms. Miguel, and Ms. Silvera. You had the correct answer to the tribute question, which was, who is the only Disney princess who isn't actually royalty? The correct answer was M Mulan. Now, for today's trivia, who is the only Disney princess inspired by a real person? I repeat, who is the only Disney princess inspired by a real person? Teachers, send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com. Now let's go to Angelica for our sports update. Thank you, DeAndre. This week, the Lady Patriots basketball team won two games, one with the score of 30 to 8 and another with 27 to 12 as the final score. Additionally, the boys basketball team and the girls soccer trials will be held on Monday, November 25th and Tuesday, November 26th. All participants scholars need to have their sports packets and their physicals completed prior to tryouts. Now that's our sports update. Now back to DeAndre. Thank you, Angelica. Everyone on RPTV would like to wish you all a fantastic Friday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day. Thank you.